Hey, welcome back. This is Latif. For those of you who don't know me, one of my biggest roles within the freestyle genre is that of a booking agent. Though my job might seem simply as connecting performing artists with club and concert promoters, there's a little more to it than that. I also help match certain artists with certain markets. Just because I sent a roster of 50 plus acts to a promoter, that doesn't mean that all those acts will work. You see, one bad match can put a promoter out of business for good, and without promoters, who would need a booking agent? I also handle the contracts. This is an important part of the job because a good contract can make a big difference between a great experience and a horrible one. But you have to be careful because there are agents who are what I call one-sided. Some agents are artist representatives. In other words, it's about the best deal they can get for the artist. And then there are promoter representatives, and as you guess, their concern is whatever benefits the promoter. Now, I like to consider myself an event representative because my concern, of course, is the event. Keep in mind that the best deal is the one where everyone walks away happy. People ask me all the time, Latif, is a booking agent really necessary? Especially now with social media where five minutes of research can place pretty much any artist in front of you. I will have to say yes, and for a few reasons. The first reason, and probably the most important, is as the liaison between the artist and the promoter. You see, if the booking agent is doing his job right, then there should be absolutely no confusion, and the entire process should run as smooth as silk. Secondly, the promoter gets someone on his team that handles a huge part of the job, and he doesn't have to pay him. And finally, to the artist, that 10% fee is a small price to pay to allow you to focus on your craft. Until next time, be safe, God bless, and remember, freestyle for life.